In this experiment, we're going to simulate a bridge, um, and this is one bridge support, and we're going to measure the force on that, Fa, using this Newton meter, and this is the other bridge support, and we're going to measure that using this Newton meter, and that's Fb. I'm going to hang a weight on the uh, ruler, and I'm going to move it from this end to this end. So the distance away from Fa is going to be um, the measured, and that's the distance D, and that's going to be 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang the um, ruler on here, and I'm going to measure the force. So the force on this Newton meter at this point is 10 Newtons. And this one is 0.1. And remember, it's supporting the weight of the ruler. So although all of the weight is really being supported by this Newton meter at the moment, this has to support the weight of the ruler as well. So I'm now going to move the load, simulating a lorry moving across the bridge, and it's now 20 centimetres away from um, the force A, so it's now hanging here. So I have a force on this end of about 8 newtons, so FA is now 8 newtons, and the force at this end is about 2 newtons. And I'm just going to keep moving it across and writing in the new, so the lorry uh, is now almost halfway, it's about 40 centimetres, I've got a force of 6 at that end and a force of 4.2 at that end. And then finally, right at the end again. So it's not quite at the bottom of the Newton meter. Hopefully you can see that it still moves up and down a little bit. So I've not bottomed it out, but it's reading 10 Newtons now. And this end is reading 0.4. Now while I'm here, I'm just going to show you one other. Um, and this is just confirming what I'm sure you already know, is that if I hang the mass from the middle, from halfway along the ruler, then each bridge support supports the same mass. So I have five at this end, and I have five at that end. So in the middle, FA is equal to FB, which is equal to five newtons. Okay, so that is the results.